Apple has now secretly started production of the iPhone 15 lineup in India for the first time, which gives us a major hint that the rumors of a September 12th event date are true. But the main thing I want to discuss in this video is a major leak that has to do with the switch to USB-C and it being better than anyone is expecting. Yes, I'm talking about brand new leaks that all but confirm the existence of Thunderbolt and USB 4 support on the new iPhone 15 Pro model models, as well as confirmation of our biggest fear for the regular iPhone 15 models, MFI restrictions on USB-C. So in this video, I'm going to explain how we know Apple is working on this, why Apple would introduce Thunderbolt support in the first place, and what it's ultimately going to mean for you. So let's get started. For many months now, there have been countless leaks and rumors from various reliable sources that have confirmed that the upcoming iPhone 15 lineup next month is ditching lightning for USB-C. This includes multiple leaked CAD files, which lead to renders and even dummy models, all showing off the new USB-C port, including this one that just popped up from Majin Buu on Twitter. And this one is by far the most realistic and accurate model that I've seen yet, showing off the redesigned curved edges that blend into the display, looking super comfortable to hold in your hands, as well as this back angle, including a very familiar camera bump and the new action button that'll be replacing the mute switch. But now getting into Thunderbolt and how we know Apple is is working on it, a Twitter user named John leaked the USB-C connector parts showing the actual ports with flex cables, and the most interesting detail is that Apple color matched the insides of each port to the actual iPhone's finish. He then went on to share more photos of the actual flex cables with more details, and another Twitter user, Kasutami-san, showed off an even higher quality image with more very interesting details. And somehow, John even got access to a video clip of a USB-C cable being plugged into one of these flex cable components. Now, I know you're probably wondering if these USB-C components with flex cables are even Apple parts to begin with. What if they're from some other random phone instead? Well, Majin Buu got rid of all doubt when he posted these photos of the iPhone 15 Plus USB-C flex cable actually showing some labels with the Apple logo on them. And taking it a step further, he showed a close-up chip with the code 3LD3, which is apparently an Apple designed chip, which might be there for transmission encryption, with one commenter claiming that we have the same chip inside of Apple's USB-C cable. So it must take two of them to authenticate. This means that Apple might be forcing users to use official MFI Apple USB-C cables if they want to unlock the fastest transfer speeds, which would basically go against EU law, limiting third-party cables from working at the fastest speeds. However, Apple could allow the fast speeds in the EU only and restrict the rest of the world like us. And then other than that, this could just be a chip that protects your iPhone from being hacked or having data stolen. And if it does limit speeds, I think it could be in a totally different way. And that way could specifically be for Thunderbolt support. So let's move on to the evidence for that. A company named Charger Lab is claiming that they've seen additional photos of the iPhone 15 Flex cable leaks, and they now believe that some of them show an integrated circuit for Thunderbolt data transfer speeds. Apparently, the IC retimer rebuilds signals and mitigates jitter, which helps stabilize high capacity data ports and extends transmission ranges, something that is often seen on Thunderbolt devices. And Charger Lab believes that they see those chips on the iPhone 15 USB-C components. Now, all of this might be very hard to believe, but it's actually not the first time we've heard about Thunderbolt coming to the iPhone 15 Pro models. Way back in April, we had a huge leak thread that came from Analyst941, a Twitter account who claimed that his sister worked at Apple and gave him info that he secretly leaked behind her back 
on Twitter. And long story short, she allegedly got caught and fired, so he disappeared as well. But back in April, he leaked that the iPhone 15 Pro models would get Thunderbolt 3, saying that Apple is heavily invested into video recording for this year, with a focus on importing video to Workstation Max, which explains the Thunderbolt support. And if you didn't already know, Apple's current iPhone 14 lineup is limited to transfer speeds of only 480 megabits per second, while Thunderbolt 3 and 4 can do 40,000, which is literally 80 times faster. Even further, Analyst941 claimed that there will be special Thunderbolt 4 features in iOS 17 that would be hidden until the launch of the iPhone 15 Pro because it's reserved for those models. So right now, we only have to wait a couple of more weeks to find out if he was telling the truth or not. Now, one of those features would be a new cinematography feature that'll allow live 4K Thunderbolt outputs to monitors while recording, which sounds like something Apple would do and can easily be achievable with Thunderbolt support. And just in case you didn't think Analyst 941 was reliable enough, we also had Ming Chi Kuo, who predicted back in November of last year that the iPhone 15 Pro models would support at least USB 3.2 or Thunderbolt 3, while the regular 15 models would be stuck with USB 2.0 speeds, which of course sucks. Now, with all that evidence out of the way, let me get into the question of why Apple would introduce Thunderbolt in the first place. Well, for one, we know that Apple's iPhones have had a bad reputation for super slow transfer speeds. So if Apple makes a massive jump up to Thunderbolt, they would instantly knock out the competition since the iPhone would essentially be the first mainstream phone with Thunderbolt support, now being much faster than the rest of the smartphone competition. Going further, it would help Apple package the 15 Pro as a real cinematographer's device with a full suite of video production features, especially Apple pushing for ProRes video and hopefully 8K video recording coming soon. The addition of Thunderbolt could help some users justify buying the new two terabyte storage model, which is rumored to be coming to the 15 Pros next month. On top of that, Thunderbolt support would be another big feature to help upsell more Pro models, just like how Apple added Thunderbolt to the iPad Pro to help sell more of those and differentiate them from the regular iPads. And finally, let's finish off with what Thunderbolt support means for you. Well, first of all, it would mean insanely fast iPhone data backups to your Mac, as well as restoring your data as well. Now, part of the reason people don't want to do this right now is because it simply takes forever with the slow 480 megabits per second transfer speeds, but using Thunderbolt would make the process literally only take a few minutes, depending on the amount of storage on your iPhone. Also, we've seen many complaints of users shooting ProRes video, which takes up a huge amount of storage and also taking forever to get them transferred to your Mac because AirDrop is slow and unreliable for massive transfers like that. So Thunderbolt would be the perfect solution for transferring large video files. So with all that said, I'm extremely excited for USB-C and Thunderbolt to finally replace the slow lightning ports we currently have. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe above and check out one of those two videos right over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.